In this video, we are going to talk about auto wait mechanism of Playwright with C-Sharp.net. We have been talking about Playwright with C-Sharp.net in a way that we have never added even a single wait code in this whole automation journey that we have did. You might have noticed that we navigate to the page and we don't even wait for the page to fully load. Playwright will take care of all those things for us automatically. But how does it do all these things? That's what we are going to be discussing in this particular video. And also you can see that while we find any locator, we don't even tell that if that locator really exists, it automatically does those things for us behind the scene. Similarly for the clicking the element, we don't even wait for the element to be available because those things are going to be taken care again by the playwright. It's going to be true for all these operations that we are seeing over here. In fact, while we do the verification here, like to be visible async, we are also doing an waiting mechanism over here. I'll talk about all these things one by one in this particular video. So the first thing is the go to async method that you are seeing over here. Let's go to the implementation of this particular method, something like this. So you can see that it just downloads everything for me because I have a writer IDE. It is pretty much going to get the metadata of the code. And also you can see the implementation if you really wanted to. So within this go to async method over here, you can see that there is something called as page go to option. So if I go to this page go to option, you can see that the page go to option has got what is called as a timeout and also wait until property. If I go to the wait until property, you can see that there are something like wait until states of that particular wait until. So if I go to the states, you will see that there are going to be four states available like load, DOM content loaded, network idle, commit, so these are the four different states that the page is going to wait or the playwright is going to wait for you until the page is going to be fully loaded. It's going to be taken care of most of the time automatically. But if you wanted to specify like I need to wait for the network option is fully like the network idle state is achieved. You can do that as well by just putting new page go to options and over here you can just say wait until and then it's an enum property that you can just specify like wait until the network idle. You can also specify wait until the DOM content is loaded, something like this. So if we specify any of these items over here, we are going to wait for the page to fully load or wait until the DOM content is fully loaded. So that is one of the wait mechanism that is available within Playwright. But you can ask me like this is not really automatic because it is something that we define it over here, right? But you can see or you can note that the playwright is going to automatically wait for you until the page is fully loaded and then perform the operation. It just don't run the test for you by itself. So that is one thing which is available in built in the playwright. And similarly for the locators that you are seeing over here, they are also going to be waiting for you automatically. If you don't believe me, if you just go to the docs of the playwright.net, you can see there is something called as auto waiting, where there is something called as an actionability check, which we just saw in a couple of lectures before, where you can see that for the actionability check, there are going to be a a lot of different operations going to be performed before even performing an action on that particular UI element. For example, if you want to perform a check operation or a click operation, it is going to, or the playwright is going to check if the DOM element is being attached, if it is visible, if it is stable, and if it receives an event and it is enabled, but editable is not there, it's only for the text, if I'm not wrong, like fill. But for other items, it is going to do all these check operation before even going to perform that click operation or check operation for you. And that's exactly applicable for all these items that you are seeing over here. Even while you try getting an inner HTML, it is going to be wait for the element is being attached to the DOM. So those things are going to be taken care of by playwright automatically for you. And the other good thing about the auto waiting mechanism is it is also available inside the locators as well. So you can see within the locators, you can see that playwrights auto waiting and retryability option comes in or kicks in automatically. So which means even the locator has got the auto waiting mechanism that you are seeing over here. Even the click operation will have the waiting mechanism automatically. So if you just read the description over here, you can see that it waits for the actionability check of the elements unless the force parameter is being passed and it scrolls the element into the view if needed 
that's done automatically as well and you can see that it's wait for the initiated navigation to either succeed or fail unless the no wait after parameter has been passed and if the element is detached from the dom at any moment during the action this method throws an exception so you can see that even for the click operation it is doing all sort of things for you over here including scrolling as well as running the actionability check for you but if you see on the assertions part over here like to be visible if we just go into this particular method you can see there is something called as the locator assertion to be visible option so if i go into this particular method you will see that there is going to be a json property saying timed out so this is going to be a timed out that you can pass if you wanted to even increase the timeout period for example if i want to increase the timeout period uh, from the actual 3000 milliseconds to 5000 milliseconds i can add that as well so you can just pass it over here like time out and then you can pass it like 5000 over here but we can override this whole thing and i will show you how to do all those things in a minute but yeah these are the different things that we can do in the wait operation of the playwright what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do this in the employee details over here to be visible i'm just going to set the timeout for example so i'm going to say new locator set operation and then the timeout i'm just going to give like 10 seconds 10 milliseconds so if i just give 10 milliseconds this test should eventually fail because maybe the page will take a long time and the test might eventually fail so i'm just going to run this test and see what's really going to happen and you can see that the test has got failed and it says that the locator expected to be visible and the timeout is like 10 milliseconds so this is how you can override the automatic waiting mechanism of the playwright but what if you try setting all these timeout period in one single place how do i even override those timeout periods or automatic waiting periods of the playwright well we can do that using what is called as the page dot set default timeout operation so we can do using this right, set default timeout method something like this and then you can set the default timeout here so if i let's say set like 10 over here like 10 milliseconds even the login operation is going to fail if i'm not wrong so i'm just going to run the same test which we were we were running before and because this is a uh, n unit test and it won't show you the ui you see that the login has failed as well this guy because the timeout period is too less so what it tells us that the inbuilt auto waiting mechanism is failing because the timeout period used to be like 3000 milliseconds and because there is a timeout it is failing pretty quickly because we have set explicitly like 10 milliseconds so just to demonstrate how the actual code will work i'm just going to go over here and i'm going to paste the code which i have already written so this is the code which it does and you can see that this is the telerik website basically and if you go to this website there is going to be an ui uh, and it's going to show you a calendar control like that but you have to click the show calendar control uh, i will quickly show you a demo how it looks like you can see that on this particular page it's load this particular control while it is fully loaded you can see there is a calendar control if you close this calendar control only if you click this open calendar this window is going to appear for you right and i want the test to simulate in a way that if i close this calendar and then if i try to close the calendar once again i need to click this open calendar button and i want my test to wait until this calendar really appears and i'm going to manually go and click this open calendar so that the playwright test is going to go and close this particular calendar for me so the idea here is to wait until the calendar really appears that's what this test is doing so you can see that i'm going to this particular page and then i'm clicking the close button of the calendar and i'm doing the close once again but you know that right only if we click that calendar button it is going to show that calendar so it's going to wait to perform the click operation there until the calendar really appears that's the whole idea so let's see how this really happens so i'm going to run this test and you can see that this time it's going to show you the ui because i'm running the test over here not in the end unit test the ui has been loaded and you can see that the calendar appeared it closed the calendar for me and it's not going to click the close button once again because there is no calendar and if i open the calendar you see that it actually clicked it and the test has got passed over here the wait test that we just executed which means it proves the point that there is going to be an automatic waiting mechanism happening and just keep polling the ui or the dom for the calendar to appear 
That proves the point that the automatic weighting mechanism really works in Playwright. But before we close this particular session, I also wanted to show you one more thing on this particular method, the is visible async method. So if you go into this is visible async and if you go to the locator option over here, just see that the is visible async does not wait for the element to be visible and returns immediately. So what that does really mean, which means the UI is gonna or the test is gonna fail immediately if this particular element or the employee detail doesn't really exist on this particular UI. So there is no waiting mechanism really happening if you really call this is visible async method. So how to override this particular problem? You can actually use a method called as to be visible async of the end unit if I am not wrong we actually seen this particular method over here to be visible async because if you go to this to be visible async method and if you go to the location locator assertion to be visible option you can see that you can set the timeout over here and it is going to be waiting for you over there so it's going to be actually kicking in the automatic waiting mechanism for you so that's one more additional thing that we can get while we use the any unit playwright so that's about the to be visible option which has the automatic waiting mechanism in built, but that's something not over here in the is visible async method. So you need to ensure that as well.